Testing, testing. Okay, I know my camera's there. It's not showing up, but I assume my face is there. Now, it's been a while since I was on here making a video, and I want to show you where I've actually taken my mind and what has driven that. Um, what we have here in front of you is rotating two points. They're both being fed into a Python, a GH Python node, and out is coming a list because I have an output coming from a import Rhino script syntax at RS and a speedier, more Rhino dot geometry as RG. Um, and what I've done is just simply change the outputs of A and B to the language that's used in Rhino script syntax and the language that's used in Rhino common. And I'm going to basically keep going through and trying to do as much of that translation as I can, but I'm not going to use things like, uh, uh, I will be using the Rhino developer sites to do that. And even though it's all laid out for you there and you can pinpoint what you want, I'm going to do it in a, a very linear process, which is being driven by this Chinese textbook that I that I saw online. Now, I talked and I, I ran it and I said, has anybody seen this in English? Has it been translated? And who wants to work on it? And Andre Gonzalez responded and said, I have the book and all I do is look at the scripts. I had another fellow that just got the book internationally said, I know all the contents in it. But for me... It's written in Rhino script, Rhino script. It's new to me, but it's to walk people through in order of what's really given precedence. And of course, is there a need for that online? Now, possibly if I keep doing research, I'll find out there isn't. So what I did was I looked at that GH Python book and just saw that in English, computer-aided geometric design, which is very close to computer-aided design or algorithmic-aided design by Arturo Tedeschi. And I started a website, uh, a Facebook group, which most of you, these 139 people know in the last four days, we had thousands of people viewing this, and the uh, biggest spike I've seen in three, three months of getting online and doing these things. We picked up some wonderful people, and we were public at the start. I made some administrators, and now we have 139 people, uh, all that I trust, that are giving me incredibly information in detail. And I'm taking from what I was doing to a more open forum. And although Discord seems to be the way to go that some members say, I think I may go there. Now, what has happened since I started that site? Well, I gained a lot of information into things like this. So you've got your Rhino uh, developer site that you can go to your APIs, you can go to your like you can go to your APIs and end up with different uh, things going into Rhino Common and then using this as a tool to get into Rhino Geometry, deal in Rhino Common, find out what you want, type it in. But you'll see right here, boom, you're set with uh, uh, C Sharp and VB Script, which I'm not skilled in. So the big thing is, is do I make a shift to C Sharp or do I stay with Python? And of course, being an artist, I want to stay with an architectural interest. I want to stay with Python because I've spent a lot, uh, I don't know, a year and a half learning that. And I don't really want to go into C Sharp too much. However, the reason to do so, and I'll just take a little uh, road here, is that there's some great videos in scripting and C Sharp plugins for Grasshopper. But that's really to make your own plugins for Grasshopper. I'm doing that while I'm taking courses up in Michigan. Uh, there's some great uh, resources, but even just setting up this site, I came across this this morning. Um, Nguyen sent this to me. Um, Vu Nguyen, I think that's his name, um, sent it to me. He said, just get on here, click on the on this section. You've got all your Grasshopper scripts you ever wanted. Uh, the GH files paired to all the 3DM files that go with them, hundreds of these all through some very special plugins that we know, Weaverbird, Kangaroo, Lunchbox, and things like that. But go back to the educational side and jump right into your Python scripts, and now you're allowed to see exactly what's in Rhino script syntax. And I think this will be very similar to the contents of this uh, Chinese text that I'm going to receive in the mail, and it will be ordered. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to cut and paste. I'm not going to go in uh, to uh, things like... Uh, I'm not going to go into... Um, oh, and I want to show one other thing. Sorry to get away from that. Um, I, I basically wanted to be able to go into that and say, uh, where's my scripts? Uh, instead of going into there, you can go into samples. And what's amazing on samples here is if you go into Rhino Common and you choose something like Add Circle, now you have C Sharp, VBNet, and Python. So there's your script in Python dealing with uh, Rhino Common. So What's been done there? How much can I order this for us on a GH Python? Because I think the move to speed up our scripts and deal with geometries and not uh, uh, universal identifiers um, or uh, uh, GUIDs or, or UIDs, whatever you want to call them, this will be what I'll pair against what so many resources are giving me. Sorry to get a little jumbled, but here I've got all the Rhino script syntax that I pretty much understand in Python. I'm getting better at it, and I'm receiving a text that's going to be focused solely on that. 
Now, I do invite people on that site to speak Chinese that we get into uh, translating the text in some way. I'm not going to, I'm going to respect, I am going to respect intellectual property. I'm not going to put anything out that's just blatant, you know, other people's scripts. I want to do something creative with them the same way that I've done my creative video series on YouTube. So I've really held off on this until I get this text and I had a lot of learning to do. And even though I'm pushing myself towards obviously studying this and going into Michigan, there's another beautiful site. Jeremy Graham has another great one. This one's based in Rhino script. As you move through, you can do seven weeks free for a five week course. Um, pretty amazing at future learn. I think it's called, it's called, excuse me. And then I've also gone in Jeremy Graham's uh, wonderful LinkedIn series that deals with Rhino geometry. So Rhino common. So I'm going to move to doing that. So what am I physically going to do? Let's uh, get out of this for a second. I am going to find the scripts I can find very easily in, in basic order of going in. There's a text. That'll be the first output. Uh, print the text and then for the print the comment and then basically adding a point. It's a simple tool in Rhino script to use the language RS dot add point. Uh, and, and believe me, if you get into this and you just type in A, you'll see how easy this is. If you're totally new to it, RS dot, you're going to see these things that you can actually start adding. And uh, you're going to start with add point. Um, and as soon as it knows you're doing that, you can click ahead and then you can design whatever point you want. One, two, three, for that matter. But uh, A is going to be overridden there and you're going to see it changes as I run that script. Uh, jump over to one, two, three here. Keeps everything else the same. Works like Python does. But at times, I'm just going to want to grab this script. And I am having a little trouble with control shift. C to comment that out. I'm not sure why that's not happening. So maybe in Rhino script, I'm just having a problem, but I put in my triple quotes and my triple quotes here. So I can just take that first one on. So it's not even having an effect and nothing's coming out of the A, but now I can look into how would I translate that? Obviously it's dead simple. B equals RG, which is Rhino geometry, uh, and uh, dot point 3D. And what I'm trying to do is not import Rhino script syntax. I'll do it on these ones, but I'll, but I'll comment them out like that. And then I will run the Rhino common. And hopefully I'll be able to fill in the blanks of what's been missing in my life as I've kind of gone in here and tried to figure out uh, what exactly is going on with Rhino common related to that. Because Rhino common is going to lead me to be able to do more plugins, have faster scripts, get into C sharp, uh, and do a variety of things that I can't do. Plus I'm doing something not just outputting these these little circles from here, because that's all I did to this script, which is basically a point. Uh, and then I put a sphere on it. If you know me, I'm going to do some funny little stuff with this. I'll pull it into uh, Fologram AR. I'll have fun with that. We're already at the seven minute mark. So I think I've explained what I'm doing. It should be fairly simple to understand. I will run through a tutorial showing you how to do this, but quite literally, these early scripts are without just the plugin. I'm just bringing in a GH Python node. Yes, I will have to go in and rename variables to whatever I have to name them. I will have to take them into different type hints, uh, three points, whatever they are, and I will have to play with them as uh, item access, list access, or whatever. And yes, I will have to get into outputting uh, A as a list and bringing in these points as well. So it's going to get complex as fast as any of those other examples were. If I go back in here and as you jump into here, this course gets incredibly complex right off the bat. In here, it's been so exciting to bring off what I'm doing. Other people are posting incredible scripts. Here's one here that's a great example I had this morning by Vu uh, Nguyen, uh popping this in here. And you can see uh, he sends me the whole script and then he's, he's asking me what I see in the books and he's dealing in functions. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not great at programming. I'm hoping this will improve. It's for the beginner, and it's somebody that wants to work in GH Python. It doesn't want to go on to the C sharp node. Even though I'm very tempted to go in and start learning these scripts, because if you can use the samples here, then you can go over the C sharp and you can see it written there. So maybe I should be doing that as well. But since all this stuff is written pretty much out for us, what would I do to that script as it gets more complex? Yes, I'll be going into Grasshopper. And I'll be adding things on the beginning. I'll be bringing in parameters from the other side. And I'll try and make it interesting and, and exciting as my YouTube videos. I think I've made them. And uh, we will slowly plug through this. So consider this the first one. I apologize. I'm not typing it in with you as you see it. But it was fairly simple. It took a little bit of imagination. And curiously enough, it's so simple to bring in a point 3D on RG. I'll show you exactly why I did something as simple as that to start. If I jump into here and go into the samples and grab my Rhino common and say add, there is no add point. I don't see the add point. It's so simple they didn't put it in there as a P. It should be there, right? Uh, and OP, you know, there it is. Yet there's a sphere, which if you clicked on it, I'm sure you'd go in to the Python 
and see that they went in and put in the point 3D. They assume that you figured that out. There's my script right there, a variable that's been set to. Now, they didn't go in here and say rhino is uh, rhino.geometry. You could have done that uh, and typed in geometry. They're not going to let me tailor their suit. But if I put in dot geometry, then I could, as RG, I could have just done RG point 3D at that point and hard coded in. And that's exactly what I did. So, of course, there's going to be simpler things that I'm touching on that they don't do in here. And hopefully, as they keep going with this, they keep putting this in. And I think that's really happened in the last couple of years. Long story short, it's going to be really exciting to go through this book. It's going to be really exciting to see how it links into these videos and all of these. So basically, I could sit here and try and translate this all in the Rhino Common for everybody because I don't have a resource of Rhino Common for this outside of going through and trying to find it located on the samples coming out of Rhino Developer Docs. So I think we're at the cutting edge of doing something pretty interesting. And certainly if it's kind of understands where I'm going with that, uh, a sense of where I can go with that, where I can go with this, uh, how I can use this tool as much as I possibly can as it's being developed. And uh, very excited to see how we can take from some of the studies I'm doing and translate this book and make it a, a better tool and keep beefing up this, uh, this uh, Rhino script site, which I'm pretty excited to do on my own. So if I just jump into there, Facebook, groups, uh, Python. Yeah, if this one can keep functioning and I'll start posting my videos here. Thanks very much for watching.